Thanks, Mariah. Donald Trump truly had an eventful week. On Friday, a federal grand jury indicted former advisor Steve Bannon. The reason? Bannon refused to comply with a subpoena from the committee investigating the January 6th riots. Earlier this morning, Bannon turned himself into the FBI. Now, Maryland Congressman Jamie Raskin said that the grand jury was presented with overwhelming and irrefutable evidence of Steve Bannon's violation of a congressional subpoena. Now, Attorney General Merrick Garland said that this indictment is a step forward for the Department of Justice and its mission to create equal justice under the law. More news came on Saturday. An audio recording showed Trump's response to rioters saying, quote, hang Mike Pence, unquote, from the January 6th riots. Trump responded by saying, quote, well, the people were very angry. The audio also captured Trump saying that he thought Pence was, quote, well protected and in good shape, unquote, during the January 6th riots. Later that same day, reports came out about the Trump administration's attempts to block guidance from the CDC in the early days of the COVID-19 pandemic. The Trump administration forbade the CDC from giving its own COVID-19 briefings, and instead, the White House took over the responsibility. Tonight at 10 p.m., CNN will air a special with former New Jersey Governor Chris Christie. The special will discuss Christie's mission to rid the Republican Party of conspiracy theories that Trump perpetuates. With the special, Trump's name will certainly continue to be in the news further into this week. And so, Jacob, there's a lot to unpack here between Steve Bannon and Chris Christie. What's next with the January 6th investigations? Well, you and Chile touched upon Mark Meadows, the former White House Chief of Staff. This is, again, showing that people in the Trump administration are not going to get complete protection under the law. They're still going to be subject to these you know, jail times, to these fines, for their part in the January 6th insurrection. And Mark Meadows is, um, refused to comply with a subpoena earlier this week from the committee, and now he's going to be facing scrutiny for that, just like you know, Steve Bannon did. And so this isn't the first time that we're seeing former President Donald Trump in the headlines recently. How is this going to impact his role in the 2022 midterm elections? Well, personally, I think Donald Trump sums up the saying, all publicity is good publicity. He's always in the news, and it doesn't seem to affect him as much as it might for other people. But he says that people will be, quote, happy with his decision to run in 2024, according to a Fox News audio recording. And he hasn't announced whether he is. He said he's going to do it after the 2022 midterms. But based off that news, we can expect that he might you know, run again for office. So I think some of his supporters will be happy, and that's what we can expect. Jacob, you also mentioned that tonight on CNN, there is a special report with former New Jersey Governor Chris Christie. What, what role does he play with all of this and former President Donald Trump? Well, Chris Christie was one of Donald Trump's biggest supporters in the 2016 um, elections. He was you know, running against Donald Trump and was a big supporter of him when he dropped out, you know, you know, endorsed him. But now he's on the opposite side you know, against Trump. And this is what this you know, CNN special is going to be about, about how one of his former allies is now going against Donald Trump. And it's going to talk about, you know, the battling of COVID-19 from the Trump administration, conspiracy theories that I talked about earlier, and the future of the GOP and Chris Christie's ambitions of what the GOP should be doing. And Jacob, Chris Christie also has a book coming out yes. on Wednesday that touches upon these same things. We'll have to see what that includes exactly. and what the special report includes tonight. Jacob Goldberg, thank you so much.